In Learning Objective 6, we're going to look at inflation and interest rates and what kind of impact does, do interest rates have on bond prices. Generally, when interest rates go up, bond values go down. So if you're holding a bond and you're in need of selling it in the short term, you want to pay very, very close attention to interest rates. Here, we'll discuss the Fisher effect. And as we said, as, inf as interest rates go up, bond values go down. Interest rates go down, bond values go up. Um, so let's look at uh, the impact of inflation and interest rates and the components of uh, what we call a nominal return or a total return. Uh, Dr. Irving Fisher noted economists postulated that total return, all these little r's we've been seeing and all these formulae, uh, are composed of two rates, a real rate and an inflation component. So real rate is interest rates that are adjusted for inflation and nominal rates are total rates. I like to call big R total rate of return comprised of a real component, little r, and an H inflation component. So real rates are a percentage change in what you can buy with your dollars and nominal rates percentage change in the number of dollars you have uh, in your possession. Dr. Fisher said one plus big R, one plus nominal rate of return or total return is equal to one plus little r times one plus little h. And we can approximate this by multiplying all of that out. We get one plus r plus h plus rh. And um, we see that uh, rh could be very, very small. In a lot of cases, it's very, very small for interest rates between, let's say, 5 and 20 percent. And so the approximate Fisher effect to get an approximation of total return or nominal return, big r equals little r plus little h. Let's look at an example of this Fisher effect and how it could impact you. Uh, one, one way to look at this, one way you will be impacted uh, by this uh, Fisher effect very early in your life will be your first raise. If the boss gives you a 3% raise for outstanding performance and you um, read in the Wall Street Journal that morning that inflation has been averaging 3% over the last several years, that's really about its average rate for the last 75 years, 75, 80 years. Um, you've basically got 3% uh, is big R, H is 3%, so you've got, just gotten a real uh, raise of 0% approximately. Okay, so be very, very sensitive to this Fisher effect, very important in your life. Investors require a 10% real rate, rate of return in this example. Uh, inflation is 8%. What is the exact nominal or total rate? So we're, again, we're looking for big R. You've been given a a real component, little r, you've been given a uh, h of 8%, so add them together. I get, I should get a, an approximate answer of 18%, and I should get a an exact Fisher effect answer a little bit higher than that. So I take uh, r, big R equals little r plus little h, and I get 18%. And if I take uh, the exact Fisher effect, I plug in the mathematics, I get 18.8%. So not, not a bad estimate on the approximate Fisher effect. 